All right, out here in the garage working on these EG4 Life Power 4 batteries, six of them. And the goal was to get these guys talking to these guys. I want to know the status of charge, the state of charge, and also the voltages without having to put a freaking multimeter on here and hooking up additional equipment. And what I did to get this to work, and it worked the first time, was follow the directions via Signature Solar and the comments uh, that a couple of viewers made on the YouTube video that I watched. And it was actually pretty damn easy. I mean, first time, boom, fired right up like it was, you know, night and day, you know? It's all good. And this is the video that I used. And this is what the actual BMS looks like. And this is really freaking pretty cool. Check this out. See how it's scrolling down through right here? That's all six batteries. The, the main master battery is address zero. And then it just scrolls down and tells you the percentage and the voltage. Isn't that cool? And th there's nothing hidden. I mean, I don't know. I just did it by the book and it worked good. This is, I had to get into the de device manager to assign the COM port on the configuration page here. COM5. And did, did everything they said to do and it worked. I got it hooked in right here. The yellow cable goes over to here. All right. And then the inner connecting cables down, all the way down. And I've got the dial dip switch settings, just like he did in the video. This this is the master battery, so this will be zero. You can put it at whatever you want. Um, one, this would probably work just fine too if you want to be there. But this is gonna, you know, I may I may still do that. But I just changed the dip switch settings to their manual, and uh, it worked perfectly. I don't know why folks are having such issues with these. Worked for me first time, last long time. Go over here to bad info. The one thing I would like to see is all six batteries showing this at the same time. You know, like having six of these and six of the voltages. You know what I'm saying? That would be really cool. But, uh, cause you have to, you know, be really quick to watch what's going on here. You know, that's 56.8. I mean, you just have to, like, write it down quick or something. See, you're watching it right here. But, yeah, maybe there's a way. I don't know. But uh, success, success, success. And lastly, um, I've got some welded bus bars, I guess. That's what they're called, coming in. also got some cable raceway to put over the bus bars. Uh, I've got some 4-Rock cable over here ready to go and... Make some new lug ends. Got this thing all set up, ready to rock and roll with marine grade adhesive heat shrink. New lugs, new cable. Yakety schmackety. So, just, you know, I'm glad I got this con thing figured out. I was just kind of bored and decided I didn't feel like making cables. I decided to work on the communications. So, there you have it. Hope this helps. Later.